is. But I bless God, amen, this morning and still giving praise to God, amen, for who God is. And still again knowing that God is the lover of our soul, the lover of our soul. Thank you, Father. Amen. And even as we're here, I praise God for each and every one of you again in the name of Jesus, the mighty matchless name of Jesus. I had this question. Thank you, Lord God. Did you know, amen, do you know, (laughs) thank you, Lord God, that one of the biggest problems in life, and not just for the believer, but even for people in general, you know what that problem is? Following instructions. Following instructions. Amen. I don't know about you, but sometimes, you know, I can remember I brought a a, a, a curling iron for my, my granddaughter, you know, to curl her hair. And I was ready to take the curling iron back because I said, this thing ain't working. But you know what the problem was? I didn't read the instructions. I didn't read the instructions. And what happened prior to my, I packed, I packed it up, you know, put it back in the box, you know, everything. And I'm like, I'm going to take this thing, got my receipt. And I was getting ready to take it back because it didn't work. At least that's what I thought. But just before I got ready to take it back, I pulled out the instructions. And, you know, sometimes we can look at something and just think, you know, we know a figure, you know, I know how this works. See, I don't believe I'm by myself on this one, but just in case I am, I don't mind. But when I pulled out the instructions and followed the instructions, I found out that it wasn't broke. I just didn't follow the instructions. And the thing is, you know, many times there, you know, the word of God, we have the word of God, our instruction, I call, you know, instruction manual. We have, amen, this word to lead and guide us. But many times, you know, we try to figure things out on our own, even though we're not our own, we belong to him. And the thing is that God gives instructions to us. He gives us instructions, how we're supposed to live, how we're supposed to walk, everything that we're supposed to do. God gives us instructions. But, you know, we try just like I did. You know, sometimes we'll look at things and figure we got it all figured out. You know, we figure this thing out. We know what we're doing. But instead of consulting or looking to God to get answers. But I thank God still again that even I praise God because even for you and I and uh, everybody that's in this world to know and understand that we're here. Amen. We're here. We're, We're here because of God. We're here because of God. God is Elohim. He's the creator of everything, everything and everybody. Amen. And I thank God that every day that you and I, we get up. Guess what? We're supposed to be fulfilling the purpose. Amen. The purpose and the call and the plan that God has for our lives. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But I thank God because still even in the word of God and understanding Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I know the plans. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, and those plans are not of evil, but they're to give us a future and a hope. Understanding, you know, when you look at Jeremiah 29, 11, and really when you, you hear it or read it, he said, I know, this is what the Lord said, I know the plans. So if he knows the plans, guess what? We should be seeking him to understand what's the plan. What's the plan? What's the thought? You know, but that's the word of God. I know the plans. I know the thoughts, you know, that I think towards you. That's the word of God, says the Lord. Amen. And even as he said, those plans and those purpose, amen, praise God, is not of evil, but it's to give us a future and a hope. And I thank God knowing that God's plans, his plans are good. God's plans are good. Amen. There are times, praise God, many of us, there are tests, there are trials, praise God, that we, we experience. We all experience tests, trials, we go through struggles, we go through pain, things that we go through. But yet, I thank God in Jesus' name, knowing that the word, it tells us, you know, in Romans 8, I'm not telling you anything you don't know right now, but, you know, through the word of God. But in Romans 8, 28, we quote it, amen, praise God, knowing, praise God, that all things, that's the word of God. And we know, that's the word, and we know that all things, all things. Praise God. All things work together for the good of them who love God, to them who are called according to what? His purpose. There's that word again. Purpose. His purpose. And we know. And we know. Do you know it? Thank you, Lord God. Do we know that all things are working together? 
Amen. And even as we shared before, it's in the word together. That word together because we think that all things work and all things that are good is working, you know. No, all things work together. All those things that we go through, all the tests, all the trials, all the struggle, all the pain, thank you, all of this, all of that, this is what the word of God says, that it's all working together for the good of them who love him. And this is the thing, you question yourself, do I love God? Yeah, we know we love God. We're walking, praise God. We love God every single day. You're telling God, I love you. Father, I love you. I love you, Lord. Love you with all my heart. All of my heart, my mind, my soul, you know, loving God. But I still thank God, amen, understanding when we say we love him. And if we love him, you know, he tells us in his word, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Do what I'm telling you to do. Again, coming right back to follow instructions. <laughs> following instructions you know many times when when our children when they were young you know when they were home and we would tell them okay you know there's the chores the things to do I need you to wash the dishes I need you to take the trash out I need you to clean your room you know a, a, you know a few things around the house wash the dishes <laughs> clean your room make your bed take the trash out you know and, you know, we could go out, come back home, and we see, look over in the sink. Dishes still in the sink. The trash hadn't been taken out. Bed not made up. And then you ask your children, you know, I know we did. Did you hear what I said? And they'd be like, yeah, we are. Okay, if you heard, why didn't you do what I told you to do? Following instructions. Following instructions. Amen. Praise God. I bless God because still again, even knowing we who are called according to the purpose and in the will of God and knowing that the word of God again, praise God, that his purpose is reason why understanding when God created us, this is the thing he created us with purpose, purpose when God created you and still again, I don't mind saying it again. We were in the thoughts of God. The thoughts of God before you were ever born, before, amen, we say mother and father came together. God had a plan. He had a plan. You were in the thoughts of God. Amen. By no means understand, you know, people say, oh, this was an accident. No, no accident. Amen. You were in the thoughts and plans of God. Amen. And I thank God, knowing even for Jeremiah, that was the thing God said through his word. Amen. Before I formed you. Before you, before you were even formed, I knew you. Thank you, Lord God. This is what the Lord is still saying even to you that's under the sound of my voice right now. Before I formed you, I knew you. Thank you, Lord God. Before you were born, I knew you. I knew who you was. You were in my thoughts. Thank you, Lord God. While you were substance, thank you, Father. I knew you. I ordained you. I called you. Thank you, Father. But I bless God in the name of Jesus to know that we're not a mistake. You're not here by accident. Thank you, Lord God. And still again, coming back to that word purpose. You need to know your purpose. You need to know why you're here. You need to know why you exist. Thank you, Lord God, and know that God has a plan. It's a plan for your life. Amen. And praise God, we have to follow again, follow instructions instructions that's one of the hardest things for people of God not just for people of God but people in general just to follow instructions we're given something to do you go on a new job and you're given instructions you may have worked the job like the job you're working you know coming into now and you say well you know I, I did this before but no you're in a new environment you're in so you're in a new place Amen. What you did over there, it, it may not work over here, but you have to follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Thank you, Lord God. And I thank God still again. I praise God because even as we're saying, how do we know? Just like with our children, we knew if our children heard, you know, really heard us. Because if they really heard us, they're going to do what we said do. And it's the same thing. Understand, this is the same thing I believe that when God look at us, that he's saying, you know, did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? And we'll say, yeah, I heard, I heard the Lord. And we basically saying, no, if you heard me, you would be doing what I'm telling you to do. And this is the thing. Why would God give us something new to do if we haven't done the first thing that he told us to do? We want, we always saying we want to hear from God. We want, you know, we want revelation. We want this and we want that. But then the thing is, you haven't followed the first thing, the first thing that he said do. 
We have to walk in obedience to the commands of God. We got to do what God is telling us to do. And if we're not, and it's the same thing when you look at your natural, like I said, our natural children. I look at, my, you know, our children. When we would say, do this and do, and you wonder, did you hear what I said? And they'll tell, yeah, we heard. No, you didn't hear me because if you heard me, you would have done what I said, do. And then again, following instructions, even as I gave the analogy of, you know, the curling iron. I was ready to pack. I, I had it packed up. I was ready. It was going back to the store. And I was going to get my money back until I pulled out the instructions. And when I pulled out the instructions and then when I followed the instructions, guess what? It worked. It actually worked. The cur- it was nothing wrong with the curling iron. What was wrong was with, it was with me not following the instructions following the instruction thinking that I could bypass the instruction because I could just look at it and sometimes that's how we are we can just let me look you know I look at this and just figure we got it all figured out and not get in the word of God thank you father not get in the word of God to hear the instructions of the Lord amen but not only that when we hear it we have to obey amen the instructions of our father what he's telling us to do Thank you, Lord God, and I praise God. God's word, God's word, it tells us, amen, praise God. It tells us that, amen, the tests, the trials, the pains, amen, every struggle that we go through, amen, listen, that we're more than conquerors. I know you read that before. I've read it so many times myself, amen. This is the word of God, that knowing the tests, the trials, everything that we go through. The Word of God tells us in Romans 8, amen. I want to read verse 36, praise God. Let me read verse 36. We always want to put the Word of God in our hearing, amen, because faith comes. This is how our faith comes, amen, through the Word of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 36, praise God, and I'm going to move to uh, 37, but it says, as it is written, as it is written, amen, for thy sake, Amen. We are killed all the day long. That's the word of God. As for thy sake, as it is it's written, that we are killed all the day long. And it says we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. We are, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. That's the word of God. But I love the word of God still again. I love God's word because it's his word. And still again in verse 37, it said, Nay, in all these things, Amen. We are more than conquerors through him that love us. That's the word of God. He's letting us know. Know in all these things, in all these things, in what things? Things that we go through. Amen. In the struggle, in the tests, in the trials, praise God, in the pain, the stuff that we experience in life. He's still letting us know, praise God, in the word of God, that we are more than conquerors. But you know, we get caught up right there. Amen. In that word where it says, Amen. We are more than conquerors. And I love that because that's where I was. It's also, we are more than conquerors. We're not just conquerors. We are more than, more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. But when we back it up and understand that God never promised, he never promised to deliver us from all things. That's not the word of God. He didn't say, I'm going to bring you out of when you're going through whatever test or trial. I'm going to bring you out of this so that you don't go through it. No. When you look at that verse, praise God, verse 37, he said, no, in, in all these things, in all these things. Thank you, Lord God. It's in all these things. Thank you, Father, that we are more than conquerors in it, in it. Thank you, Lord God. But that's the key word in all these things. The other week, the Lord, I heard it just as clear. The Lord said, remember the protocol. Remember the protocol. We said rejoice. Amen. That we are to rejoice. Thank you, Father. And not only are we to rejoice, but praise God. We are to pray without ceasing. Pray. Pray without ceasing. That means we're getting in the presence of God, right? And then the word of God says in everything, there's that word again, in, in, in everything. Thank you, Father. Give thanks. This is the word of God and the will of God in Christ Jesus because it's in it, in it. Thank you, Lord God. God is saying no matter what you're going through right now, no matter where you are right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, that while you're in it, he said, in these things, thank you, Lord God, and knowing, nay, in all these things, thank you, Lord God, that you are more, amen, than a conqueror. Guess what? Through him. Through who? Christ. 
in him through him through Christ while you're in you're in it but guess what it's in him thank you father it's in it thank you lord god and i pray you're catching it i bless god because it's in all things in it in all things we are more than conquerors more than conquerors in the thing that you're going through thank you lord god in it bless the name of the lord and knowing praise god again in the word of god when he said remember the protocol that we ought to rejoice give praise to god giving thanks to god are you holding back on your praise because you're going through something or are you praising god in the midst of it amen still again he said pray without ceasing are we seeking the face of god like we're supposed to seek his face every single day amen because i'm in a test or a trial or because i'm going through something right now that doesn't stop me from getting in the presence of God because it's in the presence of God where the fullness still of my joy is in the presence in the presence in his presence and still thank you Lord God no in all these things in this thing that I'm in right now in this test this trial this pain whatever I'm going through in it thank you Lord God I'm still more than a conqueror through him it's still through Christ in him in him thank you Lord God I bless God this morning in the mighty match this name of Jesus in all things thank you Lord God still the word of God Romans thank you father 828 and we know all things and all all these things is work is work in it in it thank you Lord God while you're in it you're trying to get out of it and God is saying in ah, I'm blessing you in it I'm blessed, but you can't even see the blessing in it because you're trying to get out of it. And God is saying, I'm blessing you through this thing. I'm blessing you, thank you, Lord God, because you're in Christ Jesus. I'm blessing you in this, in it, thank you, Father. In all things, thank you, Lord God. In all things, we are more than conquerors. In it, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. All things are working together. Amen. For the good of them who love God, to them who are called. You've been called. You've been called out of darkness. Thank you, Lord God. Even as we started out, we were saying, praise God, to know the biggest problem, amen, that we have. Not just us, praise God, as a believer, but people in general, just not following the instructions. Can we follow the instructions of God? Can we follow his instructions and give him praise? That's what he said in everything. If that give thanks it's the will of God the will this is the will what's the will of God the will of God is his word excuse me the will of God the word of God that we are to give praise give thanks have you been giving God thanks have you been holding back your praise holding back your 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 hallelujahs and your glory to God because you feel no when I get out of this no he said in in it thank you Lord God in this, thank you, Father, knowing all these things, you are more in it. You are more than a You're already a conqueror. You're, you're more than a conqueror. Thank you, Lord God. And it's still in his presence. In his presence, you're giving thanks to God. You're giving praise. You're lifting your voice and blessing his name. Father, we praise you this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for speaking to our hearts. Those that have an ear to hear will hear. And we'll walk in obedience, Father, to what our ears have heard. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you in Jesus' name. And even as we ask, Father, forgive us. Forgive us for not following instructions. Follow the instructions which you have given, what you've commanded us to do. We ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because you told us, to rejoice in you. Rejoice. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Don't cease to pray because we're in a in a hiccup or we're in a a, a, a problem or, or in a transition of, of something right now. But you said, give thanks. Give thanks because it's your will. It's your will for us. Forgive us for not following the instructions. And Father, we come before you in Jesus' name with uplifted hands, giving giving thanks to you, our Savior, our God. If you can't do it, there's nobody else that can. There's no one else that we can look to. And Father, I thank you still again. I hear Jehoshaphat. 
when we don't know what to do, Father, but our eyes are fixed upon you, fixed upon you. We're looking to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We look to you, our Savior, our God, and we ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that we would follow, follow your word, do your word. James tells us to be doers of this word, not just hearers only. Let us do the word of God, that we're walking in your will, Father. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus this morning. We still lifting, Father, bereaved families. We pray and plead the blood over them. Thank you for the strength and the comfort that you bring, Lord God, to them. We thank you in the name of Jesus, your peace. Thank you, Father. We praise and glorify you for deliverance. We thank you in Jesus' name, Lord God, as you're healing. You're bringing healing and breakthroughs, Lord God, in the mighty match this name of Jesus. But it's in the midst of it. Thank you, Lord God, in the midst of it. Thank you, Lord God, that even as we give this thanks and this praise, we glorify you, our Savior. All the glory, Father, it belongs to you. All the glory, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus belongs to you. We're going to follow your instructions. We're going to do what you say do. And Father, we thank you because we realize that when we do or follow your commands, how can we go wrong? How can we go wrong in the name of Jesus? We err when we don't obey, Father, your truth, when we don't do what you're commanding or giving us to do. And Father, I thank you that even as your intercessors and prayer warriors this morning, sons and daughters, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you that we clothe ourselves. We get up every single day, clothe ourselves, Father, in the armor, in your armor. We bless and honor you, Lord God, because we realize how can we go out, Lord God, and do battle as a soldier and not have our armor on, our spiritual armor. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the helmet of salvation. Thank you for the breastplate of righteousness. Thank you for the shield of faith. Thank you, Lord God, for the belt of truth. We praise you and glorify you, Father, that our feet is shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace wherever we go today. We thank you, Lord God, for the sword of the spirit, the word of God. We thank you, Lord God, to combat against the works of the enemy. We bless your name, Father. We glorify you, our Savior, our God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. You said pray, prayers and supplications that are being lifted. We're going to follow, Lord God the instructions, the instructions what you've given us in the name of Jesus. Some of us looking to go to another level, a next level. You can't go to the next level until you complete this level. Thank you, Lord God. Do what he say. Follow the instructions. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, our Savior, our God. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray and plead the blood in the mighty name of Jesus over our children. Thank you for covering and keeping them, Lord God. You keep them safe in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the prayers of the righteous that avail much. We praise and glorify you, Lord God, that we pray. We're not looking for somebody else to pray, but we pray. In the name of Jesus, we call on your name. We thank you, Lord God, and we plead the blood in the mighty name this name of Jesus. You said, train them up in the way that they should go. And when they're old, Father, they won't depart from it. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Still again, we're not moved by whatever we see with our natural eye. But Father, we see in the name of Jesus, perceived by Lord God through the lens of your eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, our children loving you, serving you in the beauty of holiness. We call those things, Father, that be not as though they were. We bless you and honor you right now. In the mighty Matt Satch, this name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and praise you and glorify your name. Thank you, Lord God. Every appointment, every assignment today, in the name of Jesus, wherever we go, whatever we do, Father, we acknowledge you. We acknowledge you. That's your word. You said trust in you with all our heart. Don't lean to our own under instruction. Thank you, Lord God. Not lean into our own understanding. But as we look to you, Father, thank you for directing our path. You're showing us, Lord God, what to do and how to do it. And Father, I thank you for the spirit, the anointing, Lord God, the spirit of obedience that would rest mightily upon each and every one of us. Spirit of obedience in the name of Jesus. If we be willing and obedient, you're going to eat the good, the good of the land. If you be willing and obedient in the name of Jesus, if you be willing and obedient that's the word of god you're going to eat the good of the land 
You're going to eat the good of the land if you're walking in obedience to the commands of God. And Father, I thank you for your word. We praise and glorify you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, again this day, Father, for your sons and your daughters. We praise and glorify you this day, Lord God, that as we go, Lord God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we're going to endure hardness as a good soldier, a good soldier in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you and honor you, Father. We got our war clothes on, and we bless and honor your name. We thank you, Father, because we already know this. That this battle is not our battle, it's yours. It's yours. And if we just follow your command in the name of Jesus, we bless you and honor you, knowing, Father, again, we're not fighting for victory, that we already have it, but we're going to praise you for it. We're going to praise you in the name of Jesus. The fruit of our lips will bless you. Our hands go up to bless the name of the Lord and honor him. Give him praise. Give him glory. Rejoice. Thank you, Lord God. Pray without ceasing in everything. Give thanks, give him thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Some of us are behind and we got to catch up. Thank you, Lord God. Give him thanks, give him praise in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. So by the authority still of the name of Jesus Christ, we render every demonic spirit, every attack, Father, that would come against us, our help, even our finances. Thank you, Lord God. Our children, Father, we praise and glorify you. We declare your word that is helpless, powerless, it's inoperative, it's ineffective. We decree your word, Father, in the name of Jesus. You said no weapon that's formed against us shall be able to prosper. Thank you, Lord God, in every tongue that would rise up against us in judgment, we condemn. Father, we're going to follow your instructions in the name of Jesus. Follow the instructions of the Lord in all things. Remember, in all things, it's in all things. Thank you, Lord God. You are more than a conqueror. Through him, through him, who is him? Jesus Christ, who love you. I pray you go in the peace of God, go in the love of God, but you go knowing that. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory. Amen. For all the things he has done. Great is the Lord and great is to be praised. Amen. We bless God for the woman of God this morning. I pray that you have been inspired and encouraged by the word of God. Amen. Follow the instructions. Follow the prescription that is described by the word of God. Listen, as you go throughout your day, be encouraged and encourage others around you. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you're way more than conquerors. You're the overcomer. You've been brought with the Christ, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Remember, live on purpose. Live with a purpose. Live the purpose-driven life. God bless you. We love you to life. Go in peace. God bless you.